Good morning, everyone. It's been a couple of days since I've done any videoing, videoing, however you say that. Um, I haven't really got much done around here since we talked last. Uh, we had a week of snow, so I just uh, hunkered down and took care of things each day. But I've got hot running water now, finally. Uh, put the hose back up and my hot water tank works beautifully. First time I've tried it. So it was really awesome to have a shower yesterday. Nice hot shower. So today, I thought I would take you around a little bit and show you uh, some of the haunt that I get to play around in. So... I'm gonna flip you around and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so I moved the pallets, the leftover pallets over to here. They were over there, but uh, I'm gonna make myself a little parking area back there. So I had to move them and let's see. Around the back of the trailer here. Um, oh, it's such a crisp, beautiful morning. I just love it. A little bit rain in the forecast, but not too bad. Anyway, there's just so much potential around. Firewood looks amazing. All of this is going to become firewood. It's pretty dead. There's not much we can do with it. But I've got uh, a few logs here that were recently cut down. So hopefully that uh, this one here, uh, no, this is a dead one. That will become firewood. Huh. But anyway, let's see doesn't look like much now but there's a lot of potential Got a lot of flat area up here that uh, I will clean up and uh, do something with these are recently cut down these branches so these branches here uh, I'm going to stack for firewood because I think they're they're not straight enough to do anything with but uh, I've got quite a bit of firewood in here this is the outside of my garden area. And here we go. Back at the garden area with all my stuff that I showed you before. So this is going to be here. So what I'll do is clean up all these bushes. Give it a nice clean up. I've got some more pallet wood here waiting for use. But it's fairly large. And I think that it will be in the end, a wonderful garden. Just have to trim back some of these excess branches so we can get some sunlight. I'm sorry about my gimbal here. It's a little bit uh, shaky. First time using it, so I apologize if there's any issues from it. But uh, yeah, I've got a nice little, there's a few flat spots around. Going through more dead branches. You see, there's a lot of potential around here. Oh, I'm getting beat up by a branch. Just slapped me in the face. Okay, here we go. This area here, I plan on clearing slightly, the ground anyway. And I'm going to put up a shed in this area. Uh, I think it's a fairly large enough clearing where I can make a small shed to store my tools, my, gar my gardening tools and things like that. I've got some really lovely paving stones. Oh, look at this. If you look down, we have had a visitor. That's fairly fresh. So that must have happened this morning or in the last couple of days. So that, of course, is deer. Um, but look at the size of this area. There's so much potential, especially if some of these dead hanging branches are trimmed off. I'll have a very open area here to, to work with. I have not been further than this, so the rest of this exploration we're going to do together. So, and as you can see, it's not too far away from the trailer. So. <clears throat> wow. I like this. 
this. Look at all this open area here. Wonderful. Look at that. So much potential for hangout space. Just have to clean up a little bit. Oh, I see a clearing up ahead. I wonder what can happen over there. Let's see. Lots more firewood here. Just stack this and let it dry out for a couple of years. And wow, I'm impressed. Look at this space. What a blessing. What a blessing. You see how this tree has just snapped right off. Wow. This is lovely. A little bit of Christmas holly here. Not really holly, but we use it for holly around here. Oh, this is a very sturdy branch, sturdy stump, but you can see that some time ago the tree snapped. Oh, nice little trail through here. Look at that. Lots of play space for me here. Wander through. Uh, my sister's an avid mushroomer, and I do believe that I'm going to be come one in this area. I see the potential for a lot of mushrooms in due season. I look forward to her input on that. Look at all of this. Oh, beautiful area, beautiful space. This, another clearing up here. Oh, there's another deposit here. Oh, I'm glad to see that the feces is only deer. <laughs> I'd be a little nervous to see something else. Well, this is the exploration of one trail. And you can just barely make out the trailer in there. So I'm still not too far away from home. I am so happy with this area to have this as my backyard. And it's so open and clear to walk through. Wonderful. Look at this. Can you imagine being a child growing up here? Wonderful. All right, let's head back and we'll check out the other trail. Just beautiful. Look at the size of these trees. Phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Well, let's check out this direction, shall we? See if we can get back to the trailer from this way. It's a neat looking uh, stump root system there. Oh, I think we came through this way. Maybe. Yeah, see, I've come out on the other side of the pallets that I showed you. So I went in over there, and now I'm coming out at the pallets and the compost. But that's good. Gives me another path. Lots of uh, dead branches that I can chop up and stack for firewood. And uh, this is 
great. Interesting scraping. It's almost as if it was from a bulldozer or something trying to dig up the land. These striations are interesting. striations over all of these. Interesting to know what that's from. I'm not a geologist. So is that natural? I'd be interested. Tell me in the comments if you think that's natural or if that's from a digger of some kind. So this is trail number one. Next time I will, or another time, I will attempt to show you trail number two. So as usual, everyone, you, uh, if you could possibly like and subscribe to this video, to this channel, and uh, share with your friends, that would be great. I'd love it if you'd make a comment. And as you've probably noticed, I changed the name of my channel. Uh, turns out there was another happy hermit on YouTube and I didn't want to get confused or have problems in the future. So uh, the new name is Wholehearted Homestead. Self-explanatory. 
anyway, we'll see you in the next, vi the next video. And God bless. Bye-bye.